for my last. Anything good with you? Oh, praise, man. I'm glad you stepped over, over here. So listen. As you can see these signs, bro, what we are here showing our people is who we are according to the Bible, right? Now, why is that so special? Because I'm sure you'll ask that question. Well, why is that so special? Why would you Why would you think that's so special that you were Israelite? You asking me? Yeah. The curses only fit us. Oh, the brother said the curses only fit us. Okay. Okay, so now what? So now that you, you must know you Israel. Okay, so now what, bro? Why you ain't on this side with us? I'm gonna show you why. Watch this, I'm gonna show you why, bro. Now remember, we your brothers, right? We your brothers, right? Hold that and give me Leviticus 19, 17, though. Cause we gonna show you how we love you, bro. We I, I ain't met you a day in my life. I don't know you from a can of paint, but y'all love, I love y'all like I've been knowing y'all just as long as them. I'm going to show you why, though. I'm going to show you the love that we bring to you. I'm going to show you the love we bring in the can. What's your name again, bro? John. John, watch this. Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So what that mean, what we just read? He said you should not, you should not hate your brother and you should rebuke him. So what is that rebuke? When I tell you you're doing wrong, what what am I actually doing? Checking. I'm, so what was that being? The opposite of hate, which is what love. Correcting, Correcting them. So now you, how you how you doing, brother? That's a mighty shirt you got on, man. Come deal with it for a minute. So listen, the Lord just said that us as brothers, we can't be all soft and mushy. If I see you doing something wrong, I gotta tell you you're doing something wrong. If I see you not taking care of your children, I gotta say, hey, bro, you been a damn deadbeat father. You the reason why they think black man ain't nothing. I gotta come at you and let you know. So the same way I'm doing that, I gotta let you know this, bro. The Lord said something about your actions. You might not know it, but the Lord said something about your actions. Watch this, read that. Sirach, chapter five and verse seven. Because the brother, you said you know you Israel, right? But you're trying to figure stuff out. Remember this, when you sick, you don't get well again and then go to the hospital and say, hey, I just want to come and let y'all know I was sick last week and now I'm good. You go to the hospital and what? <laughs> to get healed, brother. So you need to be a month left doing what? Well, I get my I'm, I'm about to show you all of that, but we got to get on you a little bit first. We got to we gotta exhort you to come. Read that. So right, chapter 5 and verse 7. Uh -huh. Make no terry to turn to the Lord. How you doing, bro? I'm good, bro. You all right? So what we out here doing, maybe you know what you don't. We out here showing our people that we the Israelites according to the Bible, right? Okay. Did you know that? I did. You didn't. So listen, after I show him the scripture, because he already knew. So I'm going to show you what God told him since he already knew. And then we're going to show you all over again. And you was never, it's never, you can always hear something more than twice to get it locked in, right? Read that. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord. So my brother John, he know he is a light. He know he a God upon this earth. A sleeping God, but yet still a God. He knows he's that, right, Rick? And put not off from day to day. But the Lord said, once you find this out, don't put it off from day to day. Don't say, you know what, next week I'm going to go and deal with the brother. Next month I'm going to go deal with the brother. And we let him know that. The true love that we got to start showing between each other is checking us when we're doing wrong. Not just letting that BS fly back. If that ain't love, that's hate, according to the Bible. The Lord said, when you let your brother stay in the midst of sin, you showing hate towards him. So guess what? That's that rule that we got in the hood about when somebody commit a crime and don't nobody tell, guess what we actually doing? What's that called? Nobody don't tell? Yeah. What they say you don't want? Snitching. They say what? Snitches get what? Snitches. But the Lord said, snitches get riches. That's what the Lord said. He said, snitches get riches. Right? Why? Because now we loving our brother. Now we showing them that true rebuke. Now we showing them, hey, bro, you can't be doing that. You can't be dealing with that sister like that. I done seen you deal with the three different sisters this week, bro. You're going off. You need to come to the school, get yourself right, and marry a sister. That's what you need to do. There's too much of us just letting each other do what we want to do. It's time out for that, bro. So right now, we're telling John what the Lord said. Read it again. Make no tarry to turn to the Lord, and put not off 
from day to day. Don't be BSing. Once you hear you're an Israelite, once you hear it's time for you to wake up, don't put it off no more. Don't say next week I'm going to get right. How the hell are we going to get right? We are sick people. We need medicine. We need medicine, bro. We are sick people. Read that. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. He said suddenly, out of nowhere, when you're comfortable, when you're relaxing, when you're in the midst of your sin, what's going to happen? Read. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed. Dang. He said, when you safe and sound, thinking everything good, thinking, yeah, what them brothers were saying was cool, but I'm going to still do me. I'm going to still go get this money. I'm going to still go pop this sister, right? I'm going to still go do what I want to do. The Lord said, that's when he's going to come and destroy you. He said, you ain't sinning no more. I'm just, I'm just slipping up I'm going to tell you why, huh? All that. Right. I know, I said that. I just told you. Oh, okay. So what you should do with it then? You ain't doing all that. What you do with it right now? What you do with it right now? Give me that in Acts. Give me that in Acts 3. That's what I want, right? Give me that in Acts 3. Let's see what he should do. Let's see what he should do. He said, make no haste. So don't tell y'all I'm going to this last high end. I got some food waiting for me at the crib. I'm going to get this last buzz in, get the food. Let's see what the Lord say you're supposed to do right now. Bring it up. Let's see what the Lord, if you're serious, John, because now we're about to, that's it. We're about to see if you're serious right now. Now the Lord about to see it. Because we just best. Read that. Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Read out. Repeat. Do what? Repeat. Return from, return to the Lord. Stop doing what you're doing. Take that damn cigarette or that weed and smash it to the ground. Right now. Oh, All God. praise to the Father, man. Woo! That's what we out here to do. It's time for you black men to wake the hell up, man. We're a damn joke in this society. Why? Because we don't take this Bible seriously, bro. All praises. That's what you out here for. The Lord wanted you to hear this. All our people need to hear this. You blacks and Hispanics are the children of God. You the Israelites according to the Bible. Wake the hell up, man. Read that. Repeat ye therefore and be converted. Now you what? Be converted. Now you converted. Now you showing you serious. Now you showing you ready to do this. Give me Psalms 94 and 16. Bring it out. Now you showing you ready to do this. Because there's levels to it, bruh. Because you can go right back and roll another one up. Right? Watch this, though. Let's see. It. Let's see. The Lord about to ask you another question, bruh. And I ain't forgot about you. And I hope you listening, bruh. Pay attention. Read that. Psalm chapter 94 and verse 16. Read it out. Who will rise up for me? You hear what the Lord said? Who will rise up for me? What the Lord said? Who will rise up for me? Who going to rise up for the Lord? Who going to rise up? Who, 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 who going to rise up for the Lord and get rid of all this evil, all this wickedness, us being at the bottom? Proverbs, bad words, baby mama, baby daddy. Who gonna rise up against that? Read. Who will rise up for me against the evil doer? Against the what? The evil doer. Against the man that helped put us in this position. The Lord said, which man out here gonna rise up against the evil doer? Who gonna step up and be man? Who gonna take this Bible seriously? Who gonna put their house in order? Who gonna stop shooting down their brother? Who gonna correct their brother when they wrong? Read. Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? The Lord said, who will stand up for him against these evil doers? Is it going to be you, John? Is it going to be you, my brother? Because the Lord asked me. But you got to come and ask yourself, am I willing to stand up for my nation? That's right. I need some water. Am I willing to stand up for my Lord? That's what you got to ask yourself. Am I willing to sacrifice the things that I want to do and stand up for my people. Am I willing to do something else? Am I willing to do something else? Give me that in 2nd Ezra 13, 34. So we going to repentance, right? But guess what? In your mind right now, what you doing? You saying, damn, am I really going to be able to stop smoking that weed? Am I really going to be able to stop chasing that fat butt? Am I really going to be able to stop eating that pork, shrimp, lobster? Am I really going to be able to stop lusting after my sister? All right, read that. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 34. Read. Therefore, if so be that ye will subdue your own understanding. The Lord said subdue your own understanding. Stop thinking that you got the ways to get it right. Stop thinking that you can figure out.
figure out how to get yourself out of that situation. You need your brother. Remember the saying, two is better than one. Two is better than one. So how much more? Ten. Ten better than one. We your brothers, man. But it's time for us to wake the hell up. We the sleeping gods upon this planet, and we going around playing like we got time to just be at the bottom. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being at the bottom. That's right. I'm tired of hearing baby mama, baby daddy. I'm tired of people looking forward to crumbs when we the kings of this planet. Teacher. Right? Read that. And reform your heart. He said, do what? Reform your heart. You got to change how you even think about things. You got to change how you even look at this world. You got to change how you look at your woman. No more can you look at, oh, she got a fat butt. I want that. Now you got to say, can she be my wife? How is that sister moment? Because she raised some children. That's how you got to think about your woman. Not how we do today. Right? But watch this. I love this. Hey, bro. I love this. Let me hit you with something right quick. One, one quick. One scripture, right? Say here. Let me ask you something. What's your nationality? Give me Isaiah 1 and 3. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. I said African-American. African-American. So now, once again, I ask. If I, I asked the same people this earlier. If I was to go to the airport and I asked for a ticket to Africa-America, would I receive a ticket? <laughs> so wait a minute. How the hell could you be African American if you can't even go back to where you're from? We're not African American. Black American for the Right, but that's a, that's the color. Either one of y'all are black, but they still. And none of us out here is black. We brown, different shades of brown. Why? Because the man was made from the dust of the ground. But then still, we say what? Black, African American, Negro, or we even say that we are a religion. We have people that they say, oh, I'm Christian. Right? I'm more. But the whole time, I'm going to show you who you are. Read that. Because now, you don't really, you, if you don't know where you're from, how you going to know your God? How you going to know your origin? R right? How you going to know all these important things if you don't even know who the hell you is? That's right. How the hell are we talking about getting ourselves out of the community and we call ourselves black? We call ourselves African American. Read that. Look, well, this ain't gonna read. This Isaiah right. chapter one and verse three. Read. The ox knows his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. The Lord said that the ox knows his God, and the jackass know where he's from. But read. But Israel does not know. Damn. He said this brother don't know either one of them. I gotta get out of here, man. All right, my brother. Appreciate I'm glad you stopped. Hey, all our info on there, bro. I hope to see you, bro. What's your name again? Sherman. Sherman, Sherman. Come check us out, bro. Okay, for sure. Hey, who gonna rise up? That's where I stopped. Sherman? We gonna rise up. Rise up, bro. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.